tell everybody what this piece is about and how you came about doing this type of work. Sure. Um, yeah, I've worked with textiles for about four years now. I like the sort of folksy storytelling uh, aspect of textile, the traditional, you know, sort of um, um, the idea of creating heirlooms and pieces that uh, speak to the next generation. Um, so the next generation might not know who Stephen Harper is or Stephanie Dion. Very likely they won't know who Stephanie Dion is. <laughs> but um, this is a lot of my work has been very much focused on queer uh, eroticism, our relationship with sexuality, mm -hmm. and but it's I've tended to be very how shall I say I've, I've always wanted my work to be approachable, mm -hmm. accessible. Yep. Um, and, and I've never allowed myself to really, um, you know, go full bore with uh, this kind of imagery. Mm -hmm. So this was a real departure for me. And I'm, I'm, I, like I was saying to you, I feel like I got something off my chest with right. this piece. Right. Um, I've always been intrigued by the connections between sex and politics, mm -hmm. and um, this addresses that, uh, or at least, you know. Uh, hopefully it adds to the conversation. Yeah, I was going to say it sort of uh, brings up the topic at least for discussion. Yeah. For people who don't know, Stephen Harper is a conservative politician who's I'm not unfortunately not in our country. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So I'm not honest, I'm a liberal leader. Uh, Jean Duceppe is the Bloc of Québécois leader. And good old Jack Bailey. Is that what you said? Mr. Fahey, yeah. yeah. So can you tell me yeah, yeah. how do you actually make I uh, was watching a speech from the throne. This is October 2007, mm -hmm. and I, at that time I was in, uh, in my studio. Um, I happened to be naked at the time, yeah. and I was watching the speech from the throne. Just getting more and more angry by um, all the uh, just politicians in general kind of pissed mm -hmm. me off. And these guys, the speech from the throne held very little for me, right? For most Canadians, right. I think. And I started to, uh, well, like the idea of literally waving my dick in the Prime Minister's face just yeah. kept coming back to me. And so I started to do that and then and started to play with um, my, my digital camera, just mm -hmm. sort of standing up really close to the TV with my digital and taking yeah. photos. And then. Uh, are you actually sorry? These, these are me, yeah, exactly. And then I decided, um, and these were live, but I didn't know what I was going to get. This was actually during, I didn't tape any of it. This was while the speech was going on. Oh, okay. And then after the speech was over, I popped in a, a, a porn tape mm -hmm. and I started to do some of the same things with, with the porn tape. Yeah. And um, and I like that, that the, the porn tape has very big orange and red and pink and the, the polit politician photos are quite, you know, sort of gray and bluish and yeah. sort of dull. Um, and I like the, uh, the contrast between the two. And I also like the idea of, of mixing sex and politics into one big uh, blanket. So basically you um, manipulate the photos, you prepare a photo, and then you print it off to canvas? Have them, yeah, have them print it on canvas and then sew them onto a um, Muslim background. Mm -hmm. and a very traditional kind of quilting mm -hmm. uh, process, which which I love. I, lo I like, one of the things I like about quilting is often the images or the, the squares, I, do so screen or mm -hmm. they're quick and they're done really quickly and then the sewing together is a very methodical mm -hmm. and meditative thing. And I like how those two come together. Mm -hmm. That's that's a big uh, draw for me when it comes to composing. Right. The, the well I've seen um, yeah as you know, I've seen a lot of your stuff over the last couple of years and just it's absolutely fantastic. It really um, strikes you as soon as you see it from 